Uh, hi there. Here we have our X-ray diffraction machine, or XRD for abbreviation. Um, an X-ray diffraction machine works by taking X-rays to probe the spacing in matter. Uh, so we have, this is a powder XRD machine, and it's used to find the spacing in lattices. So if you have two different, or a single crystal lattice, you have planes set at certain spacings. And so these uh, planes create diffraction with the x-rays. And so our x-rays come in and they bounce off. And based on the way they bounce off, we can tell the spacings between these two different planes. Uh, so that's great for knowing a lot of different things, like crystal spacings, um, the crystalline structure material, how much it's spaced. It can tell you what your material is. So this x-ray, this XRD machine uh, has two halves. And so this one we use primarily for probing um, really any crystal structure. I use it to probe P3HT PCBM solar cells. And so P3HT is a polymer, but as you heat it, it forms really nice crystal structures. Uh, and so as these polymer chains form, they start to align, and we get spacings this way, we get spacings this way, and we also get spacings this way. So we get three different main peaks. And so as we run our x-ray through there, we see these spacings. And that tells us how crystalline it is. It tells us things like, if there's PCBM, which is a small molecule, if it goes in between our polymers and changes that spacing. So we can learn a lot of information from this XRD machine. The other half of this has a heater on it. And so as you heat samples, they tend to align more strongly. So when they're first made, they can be, the polymer chains can be all bundled up. But as you heat it, they get the energy to align and form themselves into these beautiful chains. And so when we heat them, we can see them as they're aligning themselves. And so that's a great knowledge to know the kinetics of these polymers and how they, how they move as you heat them. I'm Roy Murray. I work for Professor Ismat Shah, and this is the University of Delaware.